Hello everyone and welcome back. We are still here in Jalaheim because I figured we have a lot to do here still. Uh, we're not going back to the Paddock Island in this episode today. I figured we are going back to Sunfield Farm to see how uh, well uh, Tristan is doing or something. Well, they want something to do. Well, want us to do something here. Uh, so yeah, let's see now. Hi, Philip. Hello, Rose. Love it to see you again. It's good you stopped by. Actually, there's tons to do here. So much that I was close to forgetting my wife's birthday. She absolutely, she's absolutely terrifying if I miss it, and she probably kill me if I forget it again after forgetting it last year. Oh dear God. <laughs> I haven't got the time to get her a present though, there's way too much for me to do to be getting on with here at the farm and by the time I'm done, the shops will all be closed. Any bright ideas? Flowers! Yeah, she loves flowers, great idea! Reckon I could ask you for a favor, could you get her a few flowers and give her a little bouquet? You can? Excellent, thanks! Pick some flowers and give them to her from me, don't forget to wish her a happy birthday. Uh, I don't think we dare to <laughs> forget about her happy, happy birthday. Okay, let's see a flower. Let's see what kind of flowers. Wildflowers, because they don't have a boutique with flowers here. Kind of sad. Would have been lovely to have a little boutique. Uh, would only be for decoration, though. I mean, there's no real use for us to buy flowers. Except for putting it on our horses as decoration. Well, these flowers are not easy to find, are they? And so far, I think we just picked yellow flowers. Does she like yellow flowers? I hope she likes it. And if I'm not mistaken, this looks a lot like dandelions. Uh, I hope she likes dandelions. Weed and uh, stuff like that. Uh, let's see if she likes it. Oh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh. Turn, Lawfield, turn. This way. Oh, what lovely flowers. Are they for me? From Philip? Oh, my husband is just too adorable. Just do think, just to think he forgot my birthday last year and knew I would have had a word or two to say if he did it again this year. Hmm, listen, Rose, here at the farm there are always lots to do. If you could help us out with a few little jobs, uh, it'd give Philip and I a little time over to build up our build up out new company. Or, I get crazy with all these stupid st spelling mistakes. It's something we've been thinking about for so long, but never had the time to do. Complete your daily task with Soundfield to increase your reputation with them. Oh. So now we have reputation to do with them. Um, yeah, let's see what kinds. Well, Rose, there are always work to do, to be done here at on Solomon Farm. If you like, you can help me to feed the animals you want to. Great. So you need to give food to the pigs in their pen, the cows in the barn, and the hens in the hen house. Leave out their food on the and come back to me afterwards. Okay, okay. Usually I don't show daily quests, but I figured it, this was pre pretty much like... Uh, come on, do I actually have to go inside? God damn it. Tristan, do your work. Feed the pigs. Um, well, yeah, yeah. Usually I don't show you because it's just... It doesn't have anything to do with that. But, well, it just is kind of hard. Really? I am! Why? Do I have to get off the horse? So annoying. Mm, come on, come on. Why can't I? Well, this is great. This is awful. Hello. I can feed piggies. Why can't I feed piggies? <sighs> this is so, so annoying. And I can't jump this fence because you have to open it. Nothing is going my way today, folks. Just yes, so you know. Can we leave food? Yet yeah, they can have some food. Thank you. Let's see now. If we continue with these, maybe 
You can have food. You can have food. Yes, I know you're very thankful. And you can have food. Oh! Okay! Oh, it's that shit again. Can I give you- no oh, now I can. Mm. Sometimes, some bugs really do annoy me, <laughs> because- what? Good work, Rose. All the animals seem to be full and happy. Great! Now, you, Saga! Stop it! Um... Hello, Rose. Have you got time to help me carry these really heavy sacks? I'm sure it will be much quicker if you carry them on the back of your horse. You'll do it? Oh, thanks! Right, the, fa the sacks are over by the silo. Just set them down by the wall at the back of the end of the farm. Uh, back end of the farm. Thanks for helping! Oh, you're so welcome! Um, but yeah, I figured let's show you decent. They were. Otherwise, it would just be like, uh, no. Oh, I must stay on the back. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem like it is my day to day, people, so I'm sorry about all the slow stuff happening right now. I wonder if I can. Whee! That was funny. Go. Let's go get the other sack. <laughs> Hopefully, this is just the only episode I will be this disoriented and stuff. It has been a while since I did record. <laughs> Thank you. Da -na -na -na. Let's see now, I don't think there were any other... <laughs> Thanks for your help! So yeah, that was that. Uh, now we're done that. I figured let's go and meet someone else that we have sort of met before, but uh, yeah. Uh, we should probably meet her in a proper way. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we should. Now, I am talking about... This lady! Amelia! Hello! Hi there! Are you Rose? Cool! So awesome that you came by. I'm Amelia and I work here at the Pet Shop Girls. Okay. <laughs> I see to it that all the cute animals are comfortable and have everything they need. I'm usually very busy with our web, uh, web page and web shop, so I'm looking for someone to help me take care of the shaggy little furballs. Okay, you seem like a fun girl. I'm sure we'll be good friends as well. By the way, you have a beautiful horse. Is it a Burma? Or, hold on, that's a cat. Uh, truth to be told, I know absolutely nothing about horses. I just know they are fun to ride, but nothing else. Uh, so I think you'll have to teach me a thing or two about horses. Else I'll, see, I'll soon be mixing horses with toasters. <laughs> okay, no, that's just no. Uh, not the toasters and a horse looks alike at all, but oh well. <laughs> not that horses. Your horse is called... Ice King, you say? That's a nice name. I will never be al able to think of such a cool name for my dog. Suffice to say, his name is Ernst. Heh, heh, heh. Okay, Ernst. Hi, Ernst. So, here's the thing. I need someone, uh, some help around the store, and I would also love to get to know you a little better while we're at it. Sounds like a good idea. Perfect. Let's get going. I need to ask a favor of you, Rose. A woman called, came by and bought all our cats. We don't have any left. She must really love cats, and I'm sure the lovely little kitties will be super in love with this thought of living with her. However, my store is so silent and lifeless now, all, all those lovely little furballs haven't gone, so I need to get my hands on some new cats to snuggle. I know the pet shop in Fort Pinta has loads of kittens. They're hardly... Have, they hardly have room for all of them and apparently the situation is dire which is perfect for me because now I can bring some of them here. The security guard in Fort Pinta is helping finding new homes for them and he is more than willing to let them, me take them. He thinks it's heartbreaking to see all those cats sit on top of each other because of the lack of space. 
I know it's a bit far, but it would really be a great help if you could go there and get those cats for me. I can hardly wait for them to arrive. So, we're taking the ferry. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And I forgot the music again. Shoot! Uh, maybe turn that up as well, so yeah. Oh no! The fairy's there! Will we make it? Will we make it? We're making it! We did it! Yay! We're awesome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Go fairy! Come on! Get a move on! We are in a hurry! Getting kitties! Hmm. Oh, and about the shirt that I'm wearing, uh, it's uh, it came with a code a few weeks back. It's called uh, S S O shirt, big cap, big capitals. Uh, I don't know if the code still is available or good to use, but yeah, if it is available, get it because I really love that shirt. It's really pretty, showing the love for the horses. <laughs> <laughs> Ford Pinta, lovely Ford Pinta. <laughs> Drinking some juice, juicy stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go. So we're going up to the security guard to get the kitties. All the kitties. Oh god, now we're going to do his worst. Um Pardon! Cats to Amelia! I've been ordered to hand out a delivery of recruits to a certain commander Amelia. I understand that she has authorized to you authorize you to pick them up here in Fort Pinta. They've been nice comrades, so it'll be sad to see them go. But orders are orders. Yeah. ATTENTION! I hereby leave the command of the recruits, also call the kittens to you, Rose. I wish you go good luck and hope the journey back to Jalaheim goes well. We got the kittens in a backpack. Poor little kitties, but let's go back. Back to her. So, you know what? It's gonna take some time to go back and forth, so I see you when I'm back in Jalaheim. And we are back now, and uh, that took a long time to get fr to get in on the ferry and get back to Jarlaheim. So I'm pretty happy that I did cut there for you, so you didn't have to wait. Would you look at that? Such cute kittens! They're simply irresistible! Almost so much I'd want to keep them all myself, but my home would probably become a bit crowded. Oh um, yeah. The rabbit food has started to run out and the poor things are starting to get hungry. Someone needs to get more food for them as soon as possible. Philip on Sonfield Farm makes his own rabbit food on the farm. It's a new hobby he has started go doing. Hopefully also because he wants his own rabbits to be to benefits from the best food they can get. It's so cute that he's so anxious about his own animals. He's simply a true friend of animals. If at any point you're in need of tips and hints about animal care, just pay Philip a, a visit. A visit. I'm sure he'll be glad to help. In any case, fetch a sack of Philip's best rabbit food and bring it afterwards to me. He's awaiting you at the Sunfield farm. Okie dokie. He likes to do rabbit food? That's a bit weird. He doesn't have rabbits, right? I have never... No, he has a kitty. Pigs, cows, and hens. No rabbit. Have, haven't seen any rabbits around here. But maybe he wants rabbits. That would be lovely. Hi, Philip. Mm -hmm. Hi again, Rose. Good to see you. I heard you were coming to get some rabbit food for the pet shop in Jollaheim. We collaborate from time to time. I give Amelia food for the animals while she helps out uh, on the farm. We need f that from time to time. As you already know, some people on the farm can be a bit lazy. 
Uh, here's a sack of yummy food that those rabbits are gonna love. Made from my best homegrown produce, this food will make the rabbits go crazy with happiness. The sack is a bit heavy, but you should do just fine. Give Amelia my regards. Okie dokie, I think we'll be fine. Look, my horse can't even jump with it in the backpack. Going back to Amelia with the foodies. Foodie food food. Food food food. Ooh. Food 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 food. Ah! Hi. Here. No. Stop. Hi. <laughs> Great, you're back. That was fast. Now the rabbits will be happy. Uh, hello. The dog food has run out as well. The dogs can become a bit rowdy when we're hungry, so we better get the food before they find my own food supply and eat that instead. Travel to my sister Johanna, who takes care of Jorvik Sable. It's good to have a sister that one can buy sheep dog food food from. It's nice to know so many different people around there here that can help out with things. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> Need to remember to breathe. <laughs> Uh, but okay, I never really th oh, really like we have time for this. There, thanks. Can we go now? Uh, I never really got the point that they are related. Huh? They don't really look related. Sorry to say, but no, they don't. But yeah, they're related. Look at that. Amazing. <sighs> Hi. You have dog food. Hi there, I take it you're here to get the dog food for Amelia. I thought as much. You're always th there for people when they need you. My sister is very happy you helped her this much. It's appreciated. She had so much to do lately, in addition to helping Philip with his anim animals sometime too. Poor thing, barely has time for herself these days. Hopefully it helps a lot having you around. The sack of dog food is somewhere on the farm. Find it and bring it afterwards to Amelia. Say hi to Amelia from me. Uh, fortunately... Or do I actually have to look for the food? <laughs> it's somewhere around here. Uh, is it here? No. Nope, wasn't... Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Is it here? <laughs> no. It's not here either. Uh, usually it's over here. Uh, is it here? Let's see. Is it dog food? Yay, dog food! Let's go back to Amelia. Nom 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 nom. I love juice. Do you love the juice? I love juice. Thank you, now I have lots of dog food though. Thought it'll run out quick enough. Uh, you can f safely say dogs. Those dogs are greedy. Okay. <laughs> oh dear, now the cat food is out and the kitties are screaming for more. I feel sorry for those mousers sometimes, but I'm just being overprotective as usual. Oh well. You're more than welcome to get some cat food from my best friend Catherine. She's not only the owner of Jalheim's Cafe, she also happens to sell the best cat food in the entire Harvest County. It's not only healthy, it's also very filling, making the cats eat lots less food than if uh, they'd eat regular cat food. Doesn't that sound good? I phoned her and told her you'll probably come by and pick up the f cat food. So she prepared for your arrival. It would be great if you went there. I am going there to get the cat food for the kitties. <laughs> kitty, 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 cat. Kitty, 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 cat. <sighs> hmm. What to say? Not that many things are happening at the moment. Here on Jor Week, it's summer, and well, things doesn't really happen in summer. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Nice to see you. As usual, uh, hope everything is well with you. I guess you're here for the cat food. Excellent. It's n it's so nice that everything is working out for Amelia with the pet shop. She really fought hard for this, and it's so good of you to help her out. 
Sometimes Amelia's family and I don't have time to step in, so it's good to have someone extra to lean on from time to time. However, I won't take up any more of your time. I'm known to just yap on. <laughs> Uh, here's the sack of the f cat food. I promise the kitties will be happy. It made from the best produce, so I least so at least there's no chance the cats will get upset upset tummies from time. From this. <laughs> Bye for now. See you soon. Oh, we will actually get something from it. Uh, did we, is it in our backpack? Yeah. Oh, it's so confusing sometimes. Sometimes you have to pick it up yourself, and sometimes you, it's just in your backpack. Ugh, I'm feeling that this episode is not going the greatest because my mouth is just blah, 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 and my brain is somewhere else. I, I blame the heat because it's a really hot here right now. So, so hot. I'm steaming. No, I'm not. <laughs> Amelia! We have kitty food. Kitty food. There you go. Then that's taken care of. Catherine knows how to make cat food. Oh, and we're done. And we got a lovely little t-shirt with brown cat tea. A brown cat tea t-shirt. Uh, really lovely. Anyway, this is turning out to be quite an episode. and uh, But it was fun. So, uh, remember guys, you're awesome as always. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.